Um, and before I join, my name is Alvin. Before I continue, I just wanted to continue with what Greta started with the never have I ever and never have I ever done play the violin or sung in Konkani like Alexia did. And so amazing job, Alexi. So I'm gonna have a drink for that. All right, so welcome to Kusuar Hour. I'm going to be making cheeselets or cheese straws. Um, I was going to do this with my granny Maria, but because of the lockdown and the numbers, she was not comfortable, so I'm going solo. But I have her recipe book, her original cheeselets recipe, and I'll just quickly read it out to you, right? We've got uh, you know, a packet of cheese, one cup flour, some chili powder, some salt, some butter, one egg, and I'm not kidding when I say some, and a uh, teaspoon of pepper and says, scrape the cheese, mix with flour, knead with butter, bake or fry. So over the years, we've obviously taken that recipe, talked to her and said, you know, Granny, what do you mean by some? And she'd say, some would be a little bit like this, right? And so we've adjusted that recipe and now I actually have a measurement. So hopefully you guys can see me. It's not actually an hour. I've only got 15 minutes, I think. Right at maybe even less because of the technical difficulties. So I've done a prep already. Um, we're using old cheddar uh, cheese. So there's about a packet and a half, which, which I have shredded and kept ready. Um, we've got a pound of flour. This is now the, the recipe that I've modified over the years. Um, we've got, I've actually been playing around with this recipe for many years, so now I've started to add different things to it, I actually put in an everything bagel seasoning sometimes. Uh, of course, we need chili powder. I play around with some goan paprika, uh, black pepper, salt, and that type of thing. So I'm just quickly gonna pour the ingredients in here uh, and then we'll get going. So there's about a teaspoon of chili powder into this mix. Obviously people like it hotter or, or not and they can adjust. Um, there is a half teaspoon of black pepper, um, quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just winging this a little, but that's what I like about the cheeselets recipe, actually. You don't have to be precise. Um, you know, you can be close and you can play around with it and that type of thing. Uh, and so over the years, we figured out, you know, it's about two sticks of butter. Um, I'm just gonna add that into my mixing bowl here. We got the one trusty egg. I like using eggs for baking at room temperature. So it's been sitting up for a couple of hours. Um, better for cookies and that type of thing. I'm not sure it makes a difference on cheeselets, but that's what I've been doing. So that's what I stick with. And um, for today, I'm actually not going to use the everything bagel. Um, we'll, we'll keep that for next time. Uh, I've got a little bit of paprika. This is that going paprika that I was able to get on our trip uh, last year. And I'm gonna take that over to our mixing bowl, add the cheese in, and off we go. Uh, we gotta make sure that our oven is at 350. And so I'll just get that going, and off we go. So this is my granny's recipe. Um, like I said, we only have a few minutes, so I've already prepped a little bit of this. Um, I actually made a batch just before this, and like I said, I played around with it, so I've got little candy canes. I don't know if you can see this against the background. So I played around with food dye and that type of thing. So I don't know, I think they came out pretty well. So, uh, so I'm just gonna roll out um, some of this that I've already pre-mixed for you guys. I've got a little pastry roller. And as my wife, who's the baker in the family taught me, there's these little elastics. I don't know if you guys can see them. Helps to keep the evenness of the, the pastry as you roll it. So. You don't have those bumps and that type of thing. So here's a little bit that I've already prepped. I'm just gonna roll it. Uh, I do have my cookie cutter, uh, which now I can't find. Um, but so I use a cookie cutter to actually just roll out and, and cut it evenly. So as, as Granny always says, make sure they're smaller than the width of your baby finger. Um, so that's what we do and you get it nice and flat. I don't know if the camera is actually pointing to that, but I'm not gonna mess around with my laptop at this point, so. And you get a nice even because of the bands on this and off we go. And so we cut that up with the cookie cutter, which there it is, um, nice and easy. You get it into these long thin strips, you twist. Uh, Granny likes to do a twist. And so 
I've already got a little bit of a batch going already. Um, of course, this one's a little too long, but we'll get that even. And so we've got this going. And so you do a little bit of twist. I'm not going to go crazy and do any candy canes today. Uh, and that's it. It's that simple. And this is what I love about this recipe. While we've modified it, it's maybe 20 to 30 minutes of prep, um, 10 to 15 minutes of baking each tray. And I'm just going to put these in. And we'll fast forward 10, 15 minutes, and this is what they would come out like. So here I've got my going poussoir, my favorite cheeselets. Uh, and this is the best thing about them. You can eat them any time of the day, morning, lunch, dinner, good with coffee, good with a beer or two beers. Uh, and good with any you know, whiskey or whatever your drink is. So cheers, everyone. And uh, thanks for joining Kusma Hour with Alvin and Maria, virtually. Oh, beautiful, Alvin. That was lovely. I'm hungry. You make me want to eat those. Place your orders, everybody. I'm coming. They, they look delicious. There you go. You can place your order. Do you really take orders? <laughs> I'm open for business. Well, there you go, folks. We can provide you with Alvin's uh, number and details. If the audio was clear, you might actually hear the crunch in me as I bite down on these. So, oh, thanks, everyone. Hopefully, thank you. Hopefully, this was interesting.